Hi everyone and welcome to Flitty Lower School. I'm Mrs New. We've put together this PowerPoint to share with you some key information regarding your child starting school in September. We hope this goes a little way into giving you an insight into what to expect and to answer any of the questions that you may have. If you have any questions after this, then please just give us a call and we're here to help. We look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care. Hello everybody and welcome to our presentation regarding Flitic Lower School. The aim of this presentation is just to give you some introduction to Flitic Lower School, share some key information and to meet the staff. So the introductions, you've got uh, Mrs New, which is myself, I'm the head teacher. Our office staff, who are always here to help you, are Mrs Evans, Mrs Smith and Mrs Shield. Uh, they're there to help you in the office, answer the telephones and emails that you may send in. Uh, the teaching staff are Miss Giles and Miss Hollyhead. And the support staff working in the foundation are Mrs Long, Mrs Crittenden, Mrs Davis and Mrs Platt. The next slide shows you the pictures of who these are so that the children can actually see these before they start. So children at Flitic Lower School, we're here to help the children become confident, happy, independent children who enjoy coming to school. We want them to enjoy a safe and active and exciting learning environment with some fun, practical learning experiences. So the early years curriculum is organised into seven areas of learning, which are all as important and are all interconnected. So the prime areas being communication and language, physical development, personal, social and emotional development and the four specific areas are literacy, which is reading and writing, maths, understanding of the world, which is the science and the ICT and the humanities, so the history and geography and the expressive arts and design. Um, so DT, art, drawing, painting, all the other additional skills that children learn. So key information you would have received in your packs that were sent home to you. Obviously with our current situation, um, some of these will be slightly different um, as are the home visit dates and times and the date for starting school um, as we've had to amend these slightly. But you would have received a letter regarding these so that you're ready for September. There is a general weekly timetable that gives you an overview of each day. Um, we don't stick rigidly to times and we go with the flow of the children. However, these may change slightly due to the current situation, but you can see that the children do have timetabled PE, ICT, some show and tell and some library time as well. But as I said, these may well change due to the different ways that we have to use the space in school in the autumn term. So our learning sessions are, they, we do have informal sessions which are encouraging free upflow play indoors and outside with the children and um, working alongside the adults to facilitate the learning. Um, all linked to the early years curriculum, a mixture of whole class and group activities and one-to-one. -one. Children do have daily phonic sessions, um, which is about them learning the sounds of the, the letters and help them with the reading and daily mathematics. So the learning at home and school communication books um, will be with the children. They will be given to them at the home visits. You need to please bring these every day. They are to give messages and keep up to date so that we can have a communication between home and school, anything that you want us to know and things that we would like you to know. Um, any achievements that the children have out of school, because that's really important that we share these aspects with us. Uh, the progress in the social de development, physical development and the academic progress. And also we do wow moments. So postcards for you to complete at home for those activities that the children have done and really wowed you, which is really important because that helps us with our assessment because we'll be saying, oh, we haven't seen the children do this and you'll be telling us they do it all the time at home. So it's really important that you share that with us. So we do, children will have PE. Um, it will be on a Monday that we always say no jewelry or hard headbands. If your child's got long hair, 
young, uh, girl or boy, uh, they need to be tied back. Uh, shorts and t-shirts, trainers um, outside, any spare um, jumpers and jogging bottoms um, that all need to be brought in. We are from September um, asking that the children when they have in PE will come PE ready, so they will come to school on that day in their PE kit. Um, once uh, we have put this in place, obviously we will let you know once the children start. Um, the start and the end of the day, so um, the cloakrooms um, are for children to leave their belongings in. Um, if you are sending someone different to pick your child up, you must let us know, either at the beginning of the day or through the day. Um, a telephone call would be appreciated, otherwise we won't let your child go. Um, we will be helping your child to remain safe and in the line and make sure that you are helping each other with releasing them. If your child is going to after school club, you will be handed over to the leaders by the staff. Um, if they're going to any other club at some point, um, then they will be delivered there by a member of the staff and you will be um, told where to pick them up. If your child is on any medication, we do ask that you complete this um, form for them to know so that we know um, any allergies or any particular information that we need. Um, if they are given medication throughout their time in school, there is a form that needs to be completed. Um, this needs to be completed. It gives us permission to be able to administer this in school. We do not and cannot administer any um, cowpole or neurofen in school. Volunteering. We always need volunteers to come and help out with reading or helping with resources or working alongside the teachers in the classroom. If this is something that you're interested in, then let us know. However, we may need to postpone this until we are working back in our normal ways. Please name all clothes, any PE kit, any uniform that the children wear, even their um, shoes and coats, because it's quite interesting how quickly things get lost. Any money you are sending in, please put those in clearly labelled envelopes um, with the name, the class, the amount and purpose. However, if you're using our parent pay, that should help you um, minimise the amount of money that you have to bring into school. We are now going to show you some different photos that give you an idea of what the children do um, throughout their time in foundation. And finally, we look forward to welcoming you and your child into Flitwick Lower School. And if you are unsure about anything, we're here to help. So please give us a phone call or an email and we're here to answer and help you with any questions that you may have. And we look forward to inviting you and your child to begin their journey into school with us. Thank you.